Victor van der Zand from Business Analytics SAP talking about the Lumira connection to BW. Uh, on the screen you see Lumira and um, I already created a document with some um, accounts receivable data that I got from BW, the info provider with accounts receivable data. Um, so you see there's nothing different or uh, 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 from normal. Uh, so again, I got the metrics in this uh, example, it's credit, debit, uh, debit divided by credit expired days. I have, um, I got country, I got the date, uh, I created a posting date and clearing date. Um, you see them over here, I created the normal hierarchies. So it works exactly the same way as it does in, um, in, um, in, in, in the normal connection, uh, just to show you this is a just an easy um, uh, analysis on the number of expired days per customer, which you can filter in the normal way. Um, showing you the connection a little bit, if I go to data and I take added data source, you will uh, see how the connection was set up. So I have to log in into my um, uh, BW system. And this is an existing connection that I created. Later on in this movie, we will set up a, a connection from scratch. And over here you see how the things are looking. So on the left hand side you see what I uh, what is available in the, uh, in the in the info provider that I connected to and over here you see the dimensions that are available. On your right hand side you see what I selected so if I for example tick um, WBS element I got the attributes and of course the hierarchies which I can bring over if I wish. Yes yeah, so if I tick this one I can bring it over and if I tick it um, there was um, a little wheel uh, with properties which I, I um, which um, uh, represent the presentation way of the data so I can go for text key or text and key and I can change the order of course so we do um, as you can see over here and, and it's a little proof that we do respect the hierarchies that are um, within within uh, BW available so if I tick the create button um, it sets up the connection that you already saw so let's now create a connection from scratch. To create a connection from scratch, I tick the new document button and I'll scroll down to the download from SAP Business Warehouse. As you know, using Lumira, the connection to BW is offline, meaning that you, uh, you take a snapshot, uh, you create your Lumira document in there. And if you want to refresh the data, you tick the uh, refresh button from Lumira or you uh, ensure that it's being scheduled. So I take the BW, I take next, and I uh, connect to the system that I uh, want to go to, um, which in my time it's called the BW. Oops, scroll down. In my case, it's this one, um, and I log in, and that brings me to the selection of that BW system of uh, queries and info for our providers that I can go to. So I can um, uh, have a look on based on views or roles and I can go to info areas and over here are all my info areas you see them over here and I scroll down to the info area that is um, interesting for me so let's go to uh, over here financial accounting for example and I take again accounts receivable and over here you can see the, uh, the information coming up so I tick what is uh, of interest to me and I take the line item level Tick next, and over here you see the uh, the metrics popping up. Um, so I tick just the ones that I like to have in my Lumira view and bring them over. And again, over here I can tick the full line or the underlying hierarchies if I'm interested in. Tick those over. Yeah. You see them now here popping up. just to show you as an idea how things are looking I just clicking randomly just to show you how easy it is, it is to set up the connection I take create and my data set is created 